If you work with constraints long enough, it's a sure bet that sooner or later, you'll need to know how to delete constraints or perform reworking operations in certain regions of your drawing. So the good news is we have several tools that allow us to do this. Let's just step through deleting constraints very briefly so you can see how that works. First thing is you can always hover your mouse over any single constraint, right click it and delete it. Just like that. You can also use the delete constraints function here and that allows you to select one or many objects. Now here's the key, you're actually selecting the objects that you wish to remove constraints from. You're not wandering around constraints themselves, you're analyzing the objects that will have their constraints removed. You window around those objects, hit enter, and it will process whatever constraints that it needs to remove to satisfy the criteria. Now one other thing you could do is you could also say delete constraints and you could key in an operator like all. That would grab all geometry and therefore all the constraints would go out. Obviously, if you realize that you have deleted a constraint that you should not have deleted, you would want to undo your operations to bring those back in. You may need to use the show all control after a deletion operation is done just to make sure that they've come back. So it's always worth your while to do a show all to see that. And please note that when you delete a constraint, it is not the same as erasing something, so oops will not work. One powerful way to rework or to edit, if you will, the constraints on the drawing would be to selectively delete constraints in a particular area of the model. Let's say here. Eliminating those constraints and then to go back using the auto constraint functionality again in that same area or selecting those same objects which would reevaluate and reconstrain based on the order of operations that you see in the auto constraint tab here. So really working with the constraints, deleting them, reforming them is really just a matter of using some tools that you've already used, but using them in a particular order and sequence, just a matter of trial and error until you get the model to behave exactly as you would like. There you have it deleting and reworking constraints. Very straightforward.